evening folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Shopkeep 2 and we were able to successfully transition our game from the press preview version that I was playing on to the full release version that you are all playing on as well now. Uh, what? Why is there... Why is there stuff? Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it might just be... There, there may just be some slight transition issues as, as, as we go through the transition, but it, it, it's... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's all good. All is well in the world. So we are going to continue on with our adventures and so on. And we they're still doing the boycott on the consumables and I don't like this at all. Read event information. Recently citizens of Customerania have come to believe that consuming consumables damages their teeth. Customers will refuse to buy any and all consumables. This is no good to me because I'm mostly based on consumables. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try to function with some other things. Now, in order to craft the leather chest, I need wolf hides. Um, wolf hide is not such an easy thing for me to get. I can get wood and I can get iron ingots just from ordering. But I cannot get wolf hides. Look, 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 look at this. Look, I got all sorts of consumables that I can buy. Uh, nothing there. And then I can get pedestals from there. That's no good to me either. So, yeah, we're going to have to go over this way. We want to try and get some more furniture so that I can list some more of the some of the armor that I've got. Uh, the armor stand right there. Uh, oh, we can buy ten at a time now if we want. So we, we can buy one, two. We'll buy two of those. We'll see what we can do with them. Let's, let's go and put those in the shop a minute. Now, for those of you who are unaware, Steam is currently running a sale. If you want Shopkeep 2, now this is early access at the moment. But quite frankly, I think this game is far more polished than and just about any other early access game I've looked at. So um, I, I don't think you're going to be um, sort of struggling to get the game to work with your early access status. Because it does happen sometimes. We know it happens. It's unfortunate. It's just the way that it works. Um, but anyway, it's currently on Steam and it's 10% off. And, well, yeah, we, we know it's on Steam, but what you didn't know was that it was the 10% off. The 10% off bit, that's the that's the exciting bit. That's, that's the bit that I wanted to tell you about, was the whole 10% off deal. 10% um, off, I think, is absolutely wonderful. I think it's absolutely brilliant that we can get 10% off on this game. But what's even better is, as you many of you know by now, I am affiliated with Fanatical. Now, Fanatical are also offering this 10% off deal. You can get 10% off of Shopkeep 2. If you've already got the original game, I think there is a further discount. But I don't know how that works. I'm not really sure. I think you've got to do... I absolutely don't know how that bit works. If you don't have the original Shopkeep, then I think that it's just 10% off. Um, you go through Fanatical and you get 10% off, or you can just go straight into Steam. If you choose to go through Fanatical and get your 10% off, what you can do is you can go in and follow my link down here, uh, down in the description down below, and you can get, you go straight, uh, I'll put in an extra link that will take you straight to Shopkeep. You'll get your 10% off, but you'll also give me a small commission. It will help the channel out a bit, and it will also en enable you to get what you want as well. So if I put that one on there, this item can't be placed here. Ah, well that's not so good. Uh, let's have a look in the inventory. What have I got? I do have a hat here somewhere. Uh, a hat, a helm. It's, it's generally known as a helm, Frith. Come on, get it together. And we'll have a look in here. So I've got the suit pants. I don't really want to sell the suit pants. I quite like the suit pants. So we'll put that one in there. See, that one I can put up there. Uh, 227 it says it's worth. So I'm going to just increase the worth. Of, you know what? It'd probably be quicker if I did it like that. There we go. So we want 227 times 2 is 454. So we want to go... Uh, no, 454, not 554. There we go. 450. There. Let's do that. Let's drop that down. 54. 1, 2, 3, and 4. There we go. 200%. So we'll put that one up there. There we go. Uh, place. Perfect. 454. 200%. And that's the only one that I've got. Now, it's 4.49 in the morning. If we've got time to run it, we'll go to the blacksmith very quickly and we'll see if there's anything else that we can get from him. Because I did set a few things building. And maybe, just maybe, he's done some of the work that I asked him to do. If he has, it means that we can benefit from this hugely. We can make a fortune. Now, let's just take a look in the trash. What have we got? And Kerblamo. Nailed it. 460. Ideal. That is what we want. And then if I go back and I speak to the real Slim Shady over here... And, no, I just want to go and craft some stuff and take the three spider daggers. Ooh. 
1.22k for a spider dagger. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, oh, I can make one. I can make no more, but I can make one there. Now, iron ingots. I've got iron armor that I can make. I could make some of those. Uh, There's 20 seconds. Uh, you can't, like, can you queue up more things? I could do, like, another iron helmet. If I say craft that one. Oh, it does. It adds them in. I see. Right. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Um, We'll go iron pants. I'll craft one of those. And iron shoulders. Craft one of them. And iron armor as well. Oh, craft one of those. Yep, that is everything is all doing all at once. So we'll let them we'll let them come down through so I can take the iron helmet. And we got pants, shoulders, and armor all being made. The goat dagger is a little bit slower than the others, but yeah, we can take the iron pants, we can take the iron shoulders, we can take the iron armor. And I don't know how many ingots have I got left. If I do that, I've I've got four ingots at least. I'll no, I don't, I don't want to do one uh, that. I've already got enough of those, so I want to craft one more iron pants, and I want to craft one more iron armor, and I'm going to go with the iron shoulders. Craft one of those, and I think that's everything. Oh, no, I can still do one. I've still got one more piece of iron left. I'm not going to do any more of those, but what can I do here? How many of these have I got? Uh, none. I can't do any there. Tables? What can I do with the table? I could, I could make it. Can I sell the table? I don't know. We've got a wooden staff, though. Can I can I craft that? I've got I've got some wood. Okay, I will craft two of those, two wooden staff. I uh, know four. Oh, I've got eight pieces of wood. Okay, and there's uh, racing through those. We've got the dagger. We've got more iron armor. We've got the shoulders. Let's just get these, and we'll race back up to the shop, and we'll list these things for sale. And we can open up the shop, and we can start selling some of our valuable new goods. Now we'll stick. Uh, well, I think we'll put the spider daggers over here on the back. So if I, first of all, remove the boots like that, and I've got three spider daggers, but I've also got another one of those daggers. So I'll remove those, and then this spider dagger at 1.22. Hang on, how much was this one? That was 2.4, wasn't it? So I'm just... Let me go into... Hang on, I need to go to inventory like this. And we want to scroll right down to the bottom like that. So I've got a goat dagger there. If I swap that one with the iron ink, I, oh, I want to swap it with the iron ingot. Wish it wouldn't do it like this. There, swap it. It's not... S Why are you not swapping the stuff that I want you to swap? Now is it going to do it? It's, it's not letting me do it. Oh, i got to press the button in order for it to work. Okay, so I'll drop that one in there. And then if I press 8, I can then put that one in there like that. Uh, that'll do for a minute. Right, so now I've got the... Goat dagger is priced at that. If I go to... No. Right, go to goat dagger like that. That's already set on the 2.44. So I can put this one up here like this. And I can place it down. It's on zero. But then I go on to this one here. And I can set the price. No. I want to do that. And then I set the price on here. I do it like that. That goes to 2.4. That's how we do it. Right, so then I can put that one in there, and then I can put that one up there, and I can put that one up there. So we've got six daggers up there, 2,400 per dagger. And then I've got to go back into my inventory in here, and I want... Right, I've got that one. Iron pants. Put those in there. And then I'll go for... Actually, let's go for the iron armor in there a minute, and we'll, we'll put these out. So I've got the iron armor. That one's 321. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. I don't want to set the price. I can put that down there. 264. Does it actually tell me? If I put that one there on zero, I need to open the shop. It's the middle of the day. Look at the time ticking by. We could do with customers coming in because if they do it at night time, it's a lot more difficult. Uh, we go into the town management screen and then you click on the shop like that. And then you go to prices like that. Price per unit. Water bottle. Oh, it just tells you what the price is per unit. It doesn't actually tell you. I've got the iron pants down here, so I can actually change that. Price per unit, minus one. 264. So in order to be able to double that one up, I want to change that one to 528. 528. There we go. So now I've doubled that one, but that's not really much quicker, is it? It would be easier if I just did it up here, because then it's still on zero. It's still saying zero on there, even though I've changed that price there to 528. 
and I go back to it. Oh, now it's gone back to it. Now it's on the right price on there. Okay, so we can put that one down on there at 528. And then I can go to this one. And uh, this one is going to be 641. So I'm, I'm just... Oops. I definitely didn't mean to do that. Right, let's, let's try that. There we go. 641 I want to do. 600 and... Is it 641? 320, 640, uh, 642. Let's try that. We do that there, 641. And then I can just increase it by one more. There we go. Now I've got it on the right price. So then we can go there. And we can go there on that one. And then I can take the hat. And I can put the hat. What? Well, helm. I know, it's a helm. Right, it's... It's two o'clock. We need we need to open the shop. Let's let's open up. There we go. Oop, no, I don't, I don't want to set the price on there. Let's open the shop. We let people come in, take a look around. Look, look at this armor. This this is fantastic. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory in here, and I am going to take the iron shoulders, and I'm going to put them on there, and I'm going to take the wooden staff, and I'm going to put that one on there, and I'm hopefully going to be able to list some of these items in here. So the shoulders there, 187 times 2 is 360, 374. So we'll just uh, boost that up there. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing and holding shift, and I shouldn't be. I should be pressing and holding uh, control. So three, what did I say? 374, wasn't it? Yeah, 374. Uh, so we go to there and then drop that down and then three seven four there is two hundred percent I can't I can't, I can't put them on here they, they they don't go on there did I have another customer come in and vanish I probably did they seem to do that a lot where am I supposed to put iron shoulders I got nowhere I got nowhere to list them right he's going in are you are you gonna buy one of my knives are you gonna <gasps> he bought a knife <laughs> Oh, that is so beautiful. And another one. Wow. Okay, the spider knives seem to be very, very, very popular. That is yeah, far more popular than the other one. We're going to do some more spider daggers. We are... Have I seriously closed already? It's because of the 50% tax, isn't it? Yeah, it is It is the 50% tax. Let's just let's sweep this up. I mean, it's 4 o'clock now, so uh, avoid consumables at any cost. I wish you wouldn't avoid consumables at any cost. I, I would be grateful if you didn't. Uh, but no, what I want to know is where can I... Oh, you can put them on the shelf. If I can put them on the shelf... Oh, I can put them over here. It's just that I've got um, Seppelina in the way. And it's, it's not going to let me do it. So what I will do instead is these iron bars, I'm not going to sell them. They're no good. So I've removed those. I'll remove that one. And then this one here, I'm going to just put this one to the correct price. Because I had it set and then I didn't do it. I got that one set on the right price now. So if I drop that one down there and I drop that one down on there, we've now got those set at 200%. So we've got full sets of iron armor available for people to buy in here. It's half past, uh, half past five. Hopefully, they're, uh, uh, they're, no, they're, they're, still, they're still doing the boycott. The, the boycott is not really very helpful to me at all. Let's go and take a look in the trash, see if we can earn some money. Ooh, 432 more monies. Let's go to you, and we will pay our taxes. So first of all, you have 5,300 monies available. And the only tax we've got is 2,434 to pay on some weapons there. A huge chunk of tax. And I should now be able to go in the tower 6,300 6, as 15, 4.8. So I can upgrade the cookhouse fully unlocked. Town cook upgraded. Next, um, collected tax, 1,500. I got 9,000 in the management house. 9,000 there. 15 over there. Right, so we want 9 grand on there, which is going to take us a little while. And shop earnings, 1,600. It's those spider ones. The spider ones were really, really good, weren't they? We, we need to be able to craft the rest of the spider potions. And then we should be able to, do it. We should be able to get the, um, the spider daggers. Excuse me, I got the hiccups again. And so in order to make those, what did I want? You've got to go over there and you've got to have a look at them. Right, what did I need to make these spider daggers? Uh, let's just go to crafting stuff in here. And spider dagger right there. A spider leg, a spider poison bottle, and some wood. And I'm not able to make any. So let's just take a look in our inventory a minute and see what we got in here. I've got a spider poison bottle times four. So I've got plenty of those. Uh, timber. Timber and spider legs. Spider legs, i got nine. So it's just timber. Four pieces of timber. And I think I can buy it from him. Let's go to buy. No, I can't. 
Okay. Uh, is the only way that I can get timber outside? I think it might be. Okay. Now, if I have a look here, if you go to number two like this, uh, somebody said that I could do it like this. If I do... No. That's, that's, that's my bow. Um, why can't I put that into the slot number two? Uh, can't put the shovel into slot number two. Can I put the axe into slot number two? No, I can't put the axe into slot number two. Uh, what about... Well, somebody said that I could put a sword into slot number two. So we'll try that. Nope. Slot number two and slot number three, I'm not allowed to. So you've got to have either a weapon or a, a tool to be used. And you can't sort of have both of them. Now, I've got some timber over there that I can get. And there may be another wolf. We do have quests to make stuff with the wolves. Is that... There is a wolf. There is a wolf. Um, there we go. I hit him. I took him down. Well, I'm, I'm taking taking him down. And we've got a wolf hide. Oh, fantastic. I've got to make uh, leather pants, leather shoulders, leather chests. And I need wolf hides for all of them. And I don't have very many. I really don't have a lot in the way of wolf hides. I'm going to need a lot of these. This is a bit unfortunate. I don't know where else I can get them. Goats is easy, but I can't use goat hide to do this job. See, look, goat hide. What about more wolves? Are there any more wolfies? Maybe if I just keep running around here, I can find another wolf. All I want is a wolf. I just want to stab the wolf. Any wolves at all? Are there any of you around? It should be, because this is like a wolf area. If you look here, look where I am. There's a wolf there. There's a wolf over there. Actually, there's a lot more wolves elsewhere. We could probably go hunting north and get more wolves than we get right here. I mean, I could do... Ooh, there's another one over there. And there's an idol. That's raw meat. There's another wolf there. And I might do better if I was to attack these with a sword rather than like this. I've got plenty of spider legs, so I don't need to worry about those. Um, I'm thinking that a sword would be better. Well, I see at the same time, I'm not really sure because, um, yeah, it's, it's like time consuming and it's, well, time consuming is dangerous. The, the sword is dangerous because they've got to get really close to me in order to be able to operate. But no, what I will do is I'll go to the axe and I'll chop down some more wood because I do need some more of this. Grab the apple. I'm not really sure what we do with the apple. It, do, it does help a bit. There we go. We've got some timber. And then I'm going to switch back to my bow. I want an upgraded bow. That's what I want. I'd like an upgraded bow. But we're going to run around this side of the city and we'll see if we can find any more wolfies. No more wolfies yet, but there is another tree. So I'll just grab this tree and then I'm going over to that um, firehouse, uh, fire tree over there where we can get the embers. Because we did actually get some stuff with the embers, didn't we? That was beneficial to us, so we want to do that again. And it was right over there. But there might be a wolf nearby as well. If you have a look at the map, we are heading that direction. We've got to go through it. We should be able to go through a wolf. Well, potential wolves. There is potentially some wolves here. Where are they? Where are these potential wolves? I don't see them yet. I really hope that they turn up. I would like potential wolves. There he is. There he is. You've got to get a bit of an arc on the bow. You really do. You, you've got to sort of stretch up over... And we've got another wolf hide. I can hear him. Where is he? I can hear... I heard something. I definitely heard something. I thought I did. I thought I heard. In the background. Another wolf. Yes. A wolf. A little bit too close for comfort. He just kind of burrowed out of the ground. I'm not really sure why they're burrowing. But another wolf hide. Fantastic. We just go under here and we will swap over. I would very much like to be able to like carry the axe instead of the hammer. That, that I feel, would be a, a lot easier. So let's just pick those items up there. We've got the wood and we've got the other uh, the, the apple. So many apples at the moment. I don't really know what to do with them. Now, over this way... Do we get anything other than just the burning embers? Because there was some other plants that we wanted that I've not yet seen. I've not. Uh, the only thing we've had with the shovel is look. See, there's a there's an ember. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Is there an ember I can pick up? Is there one over here? What are you? No. You're not one I can pick up. 
Yo, may maybe I've got to dig them. Because they're, they're here. All right. Um, let's try digging these embers up. Let's, uh, let's go to the shovel like that. Ah, yes, we do. We have to dig these embers up. I may be able to use uh, do this with the pickaxe as well. I'm not quite sure. But I will pick up these burning embers. There we go. Because, I mean, even if we don't do anything else, we can sell these for an absolute fortune. Um, but what I'd really like is to be able to get the item that we want. There was um, there, there was a weed. A, a, was it a weed? A, a herb. A herb. That's what I'm looking for. There was a herb somewhere around... I don't know where you get it from. It was is required in one of the recipes for making the uh, fire staff. And I have not yet seen any herbs lying around or growing. I guess they wouldn't really be lying around. I've not yet seen any herbs growing that I feel that I can harvest. Uh, there's an innocent little bunny rabbit there that is impervious to harm, apparently. Um... And then we've got the trees, which we've harvested. So there, we've got uh, fire embers. We've got several of those now. And I'll take the axe and I will chop that one down there like that. Is there another one? There we go. Uh, so maybe these guys down here, maybe they can help me out. Go and have a look at these and see if they have got... Right, we've got a shoe vendor. A shoe vendor? What have you got, Mr. Shoe Vendor? Cloth boots. You're no good to me. You are no good to me at all. Uh, what about you? You've got Sky Dark and White Go, both for more than what I've previously um, paid for anywhere else. Rock on a stick vendor. I don't really want rock on a stick. It's not going to help me out a great deal. What about this ship? Do we have anything over here on the ship? What have you got? Have you got anything cool? Um, no, there's uh, still under construction type sign over there. So we got nothing over there either. I don't know where I'm going to get these herbs from. I don't think I can. Maybe I... Oh, maybe I need to go to the farm. Maybe that's at the farm. Maybe that's a, a thing over there. We've got the farm over there. I'm all the way down here. And I need to head this way so that I can see about hunting wolves. However, at the moment, it's 6.23 in the morning. And if it's 6.23, you know what 6.23 means. 6.23 can mean only one thing. You were, of course, absolutely correct. 6.23 meant that we had to race back towards town so that we could open our shop for the day. Because we'd kind of like to do stuff during the day. Now, there's a wolf coming towards me. Where is he? Where is his wolf? See, he's stuck over here, look. I don't mind you being stuck in the tree. Look at him, stuck in the tree. Where did that, um... It went all... Wow. Okay, that teleport, that, that catapulted all the way over here. But it's another wolf hide. And that's really, really good. And then I will go over here. Do I hear anything else about wolves? I don't, but I can just grab this one here like this, and I can chop this down. So let me just get this tree down. There we go. Where did that go? That went all the way over there. There's an apple here somewhere. Oh, he, he went all the way over here. He really does launch it a long way away sometimes. Okay, we're not going to go and build anything else just yet, unless I'm right. Oh, I'm actually, I've come in next to the blacksmith. Okay, we will build something else. I'm going to go to you. The real Slim Shady. And I am going to go to craft spider daggers. And you're going to craft four of those for me. I'm going to leave you making those. I'm not actually going to do anything else about it right now. Just going to let you carry on building them for me. And I am going to run the wrong way. I'm going to run all the way over here now. And we're going to go straight to our shop. We're going to open it up. That's the first thing that I'd like to do. We're still on the consumables boycott, which is a, a crying shame. Open the shop like that. And we'll come up here so I can craft some more leather chests. And I'll be able to craft a few other things as well. But here we go. Our brand new shop. Well, it's not quite brand new. But our, our shop is our shop is up and running. What, what can I do with these? These right here. 122. I'm going to try and um, just boost the price up for these. So we want 244 for that. Let's try that there. And uh, we'll put that one there. And then I'm going to put... One of them down there at 244, and I'm also going to put a couple over here. I put one on there, and I'm going to put one on there. I got one spare. What's he coming in to buy? What are you coming to buy? What is it? Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite sure why he needed to go up there, but I sold some iron armor for 642. We can do some more iron. I think I can buy iron, can't I? If I look in here a second, we'll have to do this very quickly. Very, very quickly. Uh, iron, iron, iron. But iron ingots. I can buy iron ingots at 15 gold apiece. 
it's actually worth me buying the iron ingots and you won't pay more than 469 for a chest that's your decision mate that is your decision um i ought to just keep a close eye on the durability though we, we do need to watch why would you vanish before buying the most expensive item in the store oh we got some we got some we got some customers we got some awesome customers let's just um repair that one there i got more customers uh, flashing disappearing Van Why do they come up to it and then just vanish in a cloud of smoke? I don't understand that bit. I don't understand the logic behind it. Seriously? They're going to the expensive stuff and then s they're just vanishing. Go on. Buy something good. She bought the other spider. The other spider dagger. Do you what are you going to buy, Arvidas? And he's bought a goat dagger. That is fantastic. Uh, so I've sold, um, I've sold some wooden shoes. And, right, the durability on that one is fine. The durability on that could just do with a little bit of a nudge. 370 added to the vault. I'm selling stuff left, right, and center. What have we got here? I've got some... There is some dirt on the floors. I've got several... Well, let's replace some bandanas a minute. Let's put some of these back. I can put one there and one there and one there. Like that. And I can put one there. I want to make some more daggers... We'll be able to do that in a bit. I've sold some of those. We don't have any more materials for making um, items at the moment. But what I can do is I can go left alt and then there like that. And that fills that back up with boots. So we've got plenty of boots on there. Consumables, nobody's buying. Which is a great shame because I've got all of the um, health potions and stuff. But that's okay. If they don't want to buy, they don't want to buy. I'm, I'm not going to force them to do it. There we go. Sweep all that out. What have you bought? Have you bought anything? We've got another goat another another goat dagger. Go on. Yes, another goat dagger. We have been selling these like hotcakes. This is brilliant. And it's closed. That is it. I have sold everything I can by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That is actually quite a good accomplishment. I feel that is worth celebrating, actually. If we go and we have a look in here, we will have a look at tax control. So apparel, I got 1,309 to pay in tax. And in here, in weapons, 3,651 to pay in tax. But if I go back here and I go to the vault, I can withdraw 8,000 muns. There we go. I've now got nine grand. Nine grand is not to be sniffed at, but 6,400 is all I've got over there. 15k. Oh, no, 9k. We're actually, we're pretty close. We are pretty close to being able to deal with the blacksmith pretty soon and upgrade the blacksmith. I'm going to run back through. So I need the spider bottles, the spider poison. I need stuff from the spiders. I don't think you can buy everything. I don't know if you unlock the ability to buy everything. So if I go into buy in there... I've got iron ingots. Oh, if I buy them from him, they're more expensive. I see. Right. Um, quests. Spider hunt. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'll go back to there. And we have got this stuff here. So I'm, I'm going to take the four spider daggers that are now completed. I need two leather chests. So I want two of those. That's four. No, I don't want to do that. So if I go back to... Right. If I do that, I go craft one and then I craft another. So we'll craft those two leather chests. Then I I need three tables. I've got to make tables. I completely forgot about the tables. So we go to the table there. That's five wood there. I can't craft any of those because I don't have enough wood at the moment. Those. Where's all my timber gone? I had a whole load of timber, didn't I? Oh, did I turn it into wooden staffs already? I think I already did. Okay. Uh, leather pants times three. I can make two more of those. Right, I will take the leather chest and take the leather chest. So I've done that one. I have a uh, leather chest quest completed. Do I get anything for it? I don't know if I get anything for it. Okay, let's come out of there a minute. And then I think you press escape. Yeah, you do this. Uh, leather cowl. Reward leather chest. And then leather pants. Reward leather chest. Reward leather chest. What? What is the... What, why am I getting a reward of a leather chest for everything? Is that... Is that right? Am I supposed to get a, a reward with a leather chest? Let's go to the in, uh, order scroll there. Um, I can order wood and I can order the leather chest. I think it's just from that. But I want to actually, I need to order some timber now. Um, so if I order, yeah, let's order 30 of those. And we get that turning up in the post. And I will also order some iron ingots as well. I will order 20 of those. So they will turn up in the post as well. And there's nothing else that I want to order right now. 
Uh, we, we're going to sort of deal with that later on. Um, no, what I need is to make some more potions so that I can do some more of these spider daggers. I've got the four spider daggers is pretty good. That is pretty swish. We'll, we'll be able to make use of those. But I'm going to need to go to the alchemist so that I can make some more potions. Um, so let's just ignore that bit for a minute and we'll run over this way so we go towards the alchemist. And we'll make the spider potions. It's They've got to use the web bundles. And it's those specific web bundles that we need so that um, we... Up oh, actually, no. I want to go to the cookhouse as well. I haven't seen the upgraded cookhouse yet. We'll do that in a sec. Take that. Right, 295 in that trash can. And then we come over to here. So I need you. And in order to make... The right, we brew the potions. Yeah, see this one here? Fire ember. I need fire herb as well, though. And I don't know where to get it. And frost herbs. I don't know where to get those. Spider poison bottle. I need web bundles to do this. And I have... No web bundles. I've used all my spider poison bottles. That's just great. Right, anti-poison. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we need the, um, the spider poison bottle for that as well. I don't have any web bundles at the moment. Does he sell them? If he sells them, this might be worth doing. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want to do that. D do you sell stuff? I forgot to check. Info. That's it. Right. Nothing there to buy. I can buy that item there. It's a shame I'd like to be able to buy the spider bundles. Have we got to go out and we've got to hunt those every time, have we? Maybe we do. We, we, we haven't upgraded everything yet, though. There is lots of upgrades that we can do, so we'll probably be able to figure something else out. It's 349 months. And in here, we have got our fully upgraded cookhouse. Is that it? There's no symbol. There used to be a symbol. Why is there no symbol? Ooh. Ooh. Is that... Is that even the cookhouse? I think it is. Um, I missed. That would have been really good, I think. I think the smaller it is, the more you get. Right, Marty, Morgan over there. So who's Marty? What are you, Marty? What, what do you do? I supply alcohol to the inn. Order list received five new items for me to order. You seem nice, Frithgar. Here is my card. Order yourself anything you want. Okay, I like Marty. Marty is fantastic. Dealer, healer, lover. He is an absolutely awesome guy. Um, let's see. What has Marty offered us to be able to buy? Uh, water bottle, milk bottle, health potion, myrrh potion, wood, leather chest, wine. There. Minus two charisma. I thought wine made you more charismatic, not less. Gorzalka. Five charisma for 30 seconds. Charisma, charisma. Um, ten armor, increased drunkenness by three per 30 seconds. Uh, just need some side snacks. Gorzalka. I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is. Uh, rum, 453. Rum is not gone. Nice. Nice little reference there. Does anybody know what that is referring to? I, I, I'll give you a point. I'll give you a little heart if you can um, tell me what film The Rum is Not Gone is actually referring to. It's a little Easter egg type thingy going on there. Whiskey here generates 90 stamina per 30 seconds. Five armor increases drunkenness and five charisma. And then we've got ale as well. So I can order all of these items. I don't know if people are actually going to want to buy them or not, but uh, maybe they will. Morgan over here, he doesn't have flies over everything anymore. Not having the flies, I think, is a really, really good thing. So I can buy raw meat and... Uh, yeah, but that's not what I want to buy. So what about... Oh, and then we've got the items down here. There's rum, and then there's more stuff. So, right, Morgan. What have you got now, Morgan? Let's make some food. Receive new food to order. Let's hire some workers. Ooh. Okay, new food to order. Um, Receive new items for me to order. Let's take a look at what he has now put onto my consumables list. I go right to the bottom. There we go. So I can order a chicken. Winner, winner, here's dinner. <laughs> nice. Generate 75 health per 25 seconds. 25 charisma for 120 seconds. Uh, restore 15 health to user for some waffles. Cleansing waffles, 647. And then we've got eggs and bacon. Generate 30 health. Uh, generates 15 stamina and 25 armor. Right. Not really sure what we want to do with those items. Whether we, whether people would actually do that, would, would they buy them? Right, apple pie. Yes, I've got apples. I got loads of apples. Apple pie. What, is it say anything about the apple pie? It doesn't tell me what it's like. Right, we've got that one. We already know about that one. Cheese is milk bottles. Milk time 35. Yeah, that was the expensive. Ooh, cook spider leg. I want to keep the spider legs though, because they're handy for the daggers. 
Uh, there's not a lot. We can make an omelette with some eggs. I don't think I've got any eggs at the moment. Let's just do the apple pies. Let's go into there. I can do six apple pies, so I'll let him... Yeah, that's going to take him a little while. We'll let him craft those, and while he's busy doing that, I'm going to... Oh, no, was, hire some workers. What was he saying about hire workers? Let's hire some workers. No sous chef, no preparer. Find a new one, fire. Right, so what What do these guys do? Right, uh, Tyrell is quality... Is Well, actually, look, Fernando over here. 650 mun per day, cost to hire 8,009. Seriously? 900 a day? Okay, so Tyrell is only 2,000 to hire, but he's 900 a day. Whereas this guy over here is 650 per day, but he costs 8,900 to hire. That's insane. Um, 5,860, 600, 870, 12 per day. Cost to hire 6,900, but the, the quality is not very good. Cost to hire 5, 9 grand a day? Are you kidding me? Cost to hire... Oh, that's a little bit more like... Look at this. Um, salary, 50 per day. Cost to hire, 420. But Emma is appalling. Um, it's like a third of a, a thing there. Um, Cleo is a little bit better. All the way up this end, 650 per day. And I'm not sure if we can afford that. That's nine grand a day. <laughs> nine grand a day is absolutely brilliant. I love that. I love that it costs that much. Uh, 600 versus 800. Let's try Cleo. Because she costs 600. And she's 250 per day. But she's reasonably good. Look, that one there is very low. So we'll try Cleo. 250 per day. Now, what does she do? Find a new one. A preparer. Um, let's try Emma as well. Okay, so we've got these. We've got a sous chef. And we've got a preparer. What do they do? What are, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? I don't understand what it is that you do. I'm going to go through here. I mean, look at this place. This is absolutely awesome. We've we've got customers in here, all busy, sat down, eating food. They're, they're doing a great job. And, wow. Okay, Chris is looking a little bit different than he was just now. Buy help. At, wow. 50. What happened to the last dude that was here? I don't know what happened to the last Uber buy helper bots for 15,000. I am missing 6,977. Um, so I've, I've got to do that to unlock what are oh, helper bots. Helper bots are intricate machines that will help you stop your shop, fix furnitures, and more. Right, 15 grand to be able to do that. I need more money. I need more muns. But I kind of run out of time for today, so we're going to have to do this next time. Um, what was I doing? Um, I've got... Actually, I don't know what I was doing. I can't make any more spider potions, can, uh, spider daggers, can I? Because I've run out of those potions. But I do have some spider daggers on me, which I could use. I've got an order here. Oops, I'm looking at the ceiling. I didn't want to look at the ceiling. I want to pick up that container. Um, and that container there. Right, I've got some leather chests. Why have I got leather chests? Spider... Oh, that was what I received previously. Uh, so I've received some items. I've got 23... Iron bars. That I was going to go and set some more stuff going at the blacksmith. That's what we'll do with the iron bars. And also make some tables at the blacksmith um, with, with the wooden planks that I ordered. So we'll be able to do that. But if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And don't forget, in the comment section down below, there is a link that will take you through to the offer that is currently available. Actually, I want to do... How many of these? Three. I want to do three tables. I only want to do three. Craft three tables. There. Take two leather pants. That bit's done. And then we've got iron ingots. Um, yeah, if you'd like to get a copy of Shopkeep, um, if you could do it through that link down below, you'll get the 10% off. And it will also help support the channel as well. It'll get you a copy on Steam. Just the same as any other would. But, um, yeah, it would really, really help me out if you could do that. That would be awesome. But only, I hasten to add, only be doing this if you're actually planning to buy a copy of Shopkeep. I'm not asking you to um, spend a load of money when you weren't planning to do it anyways. It's only if you were planning to do it anyway. I'll just absolutely clarify that. Make absolutely certain that it, it, it is full clarification that you're only doing this if you're planning to buy it anyway. 
Um, there are other ways that you can support the channel. There are links in the description to support the channel. You don't have to go and buy games if that is the only reason is that you're not planning to play it, but you are planning to support the channel. There are other ways to do that. Um, right, let's just quickly do this. Okay, nailed it, 250. We'll carry on with this next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.